que así es. Yes, and we are, we are back with another dope individual, man. This man has been killing this shit all day. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, CJ Tarver, man. C me. Killer Rabbit. Killer Rabbit. That's a nickname for you? Something like that. Something like that. I, I fucks with it. Yo, man, I've been seeing you out here running around the field all day, man. You, you buy a lot of damn time. I don't know. <laughs> you buy a lot of time, bro. They know what I do, so. It's impressive. It's impressive. Dimitri, I had him up earlier. He did the first uh, the first interview for the day, and uh, he was talking about how you you pretty much single-handedly beat the Valley uh, Valley Goats a, couple to, uh, a while back, twice in a row. Oh, the they don't like me. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they call me the goat killer, man. I, mean, I, yeah. I broke them up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the reason why they ain't no longer here. Oh, man. That's impressive because that's a that's a formidable squad, man. Yeah, they, they, when I got there, they won like, it was like 147 straight games or something like that. Yeah. And then we played against them. We beat them. And then I think they beat us. And then we met them in the chip. And then we beat them, sent them home. And after that, I never lost again. Oh, that's impressive, man. How does that, how does that feel? Because I'm... I'm from the area where they come from, so like in all the like the local leagues, they're very dominant. Yeah, yeah. You know so what I mean? I never played that style before, and everybody was you know talking about oh they got dynasty, they this and that, and you know, they are good. You know they got it down pack, and that was our first time playing it, so we still got to win the first time, but and then the second time they came back and beat us, so we started chipping and turned to a little rivalry, and you know just. You, you it that. looks like you won at the at the yeah, end of the day. That's a fact. Yeah. So is this the team that you travel with all the time? Yeah, now nah, that's my that's my travel team for nine man too. Uh, what are, what are you guys called? Uh, Dark side. Dark side. Ah, okay. Dark side. So wait, do you draw You go out to um to the nine man Pocono League as well, or do you play? Because I know he was trying to start. Uh, a, I don't think a I've Jersey been there yet. Yeah, no? I don't think that Pocono one. I don't think I've been. So where do you play nine man at? Uh, well, I play back home in Albany from there, but oh, you're not even from you're not yeah, even from nah, this nah. area. Albany, New York, yeah. Oh, you traveled away, man. It was only two hours. It wasn't bad. Oh, for real? Yeah. I would think isn't that damn near upstate? Isn't it that is upstate? upstate? Yeah, it only took me two hours. Oh, my man was floating. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could have. We got family out in Utica, and it take like okay. four hours to get up there. Damn, but shouldn't take that long. That's only about like. No, that's about right because it's about an hour and a half from us. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's so. Anytime I think upstate, that's always yeah. like what I'm comparing it to. It's yeah, like yeah. a very, it's very big distance. Can you turn that camera on, Jay? Please. All you gotta do is press the middle button. Um. So so ultimately, when when you started the day out today, you know what was what was your goal, and and do you feel like you've you've positioned yourself to achieve it? Well, absolutely. At this point? You know, just come out here, compete. We're gonna win. It's gonna handle himself. So defense just get a couple stops because we gonna score. So I told them just get one or two stops and we gonna win. Uh, so <laughs> what's going through your mind when you dropping back there? You're not a very tall dude, man, but you got some big linemen, mm -hmm. and you always got bigger motherfuckers chasing you. Well, you I'm, know, I'm, so. I'm good with timing routes, so I know what I like and how I like to throw certain passes. And my receiver is a dog, so when they get to the right spot, I'm just throwing to a spot. It's easy. Okay. Do you do you coordinate the entire offense, oh, yeah, or absolutely. do you guys run like nope. wristbands or anything? I, I, I'd call it based on how the defense playing me and matchups out there. I just call what I see. Oh, I like it. I like it. It looks like it looks like a free flowing offense. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. And the one thing I notice is, like I said, you buy a lot of time for yourself. Yeah, yeah. But your receivers do a great job of like coming back to the ball, mm -hmm. getting deeper when they're shallow, yeah. coming back across the middle. You know what I'm saying? That's a. How long have you guys been playing together? A couple of them guys. I played a couple of times, so it's not like my first time playing with them. So I, I've seen them around. I played with them a couple of times here and there. Not consistently though. Nobody really I played consistently with, but. They know how I kind of run offense, and they, like I said, they're listening. So I'm listening to them. They're listening to me. It makes everything easier. Like we've been playing together for years. Okay, I fucks with it. What do you think the the biggest attribute is to to having success as a team, especially when you don't play with these guys on a regular basis? Like the biggest thing is trust. If you don't trust your quarterback, you're not gonna get to the spot he tell you. You don't trust what he calling. That me that messes everything up when you don't trust your quarterback. Does it go both ways? As far no, as you trusting them to be there yeah, as well? I, I got, yeah, because I'm thrown to a spot and I'm. I could throw a pick if you don't get to that spot, and then you know everybody start chipping and arguing, and you know losing confidence in you. So it definitely goes both ways. As far as the losing confidence, because I've seen a lot of these guys argue out here amongst each other, opposed to you know corralling around one another and like, listen, this is this is the opponent for the right. day. This is the opponent for the moment. How do you guys how do you guys keep that together, especially with having pieces that you don't always work with? Right. Uh, I think the main part is actually you know when they see it one or two times and they oh and then they start to believe it. It makes it a little tough when it doesn't work at first, and it's like, oh, I, don't, I told you, he don't really know what he's talking about. But 
you just try to make it work the first time or them guys just give you another chance and they listen and they start working. When they start working, everything starts clicking. Yeah, you know, yeah. start listening now. Like, oh, yeah, see, I, I knew we were going to be there. <laughs> Even though they know they probably lying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Um, I had no clue. I had no clue mm -hmm. who you were before today, but I... I be damn sure anytime I come out to these tournaments, I'm gonna be looking for you, man. I appreciate it. This yeah, man. This ain't even nothing. I promise you. This is real regular. So oh, just stay tuned. <laughs> I'm here talking that shit. Mm -hmm. Um, give a shout out, man. Whoever you want to give a shout out to, let people know where they can find you. You know what I mean? Like uh, your social medias or anything like that. Uh, CJ Tarvin. Everybody know me. Man. Killer Rabbit, man. You know, the hats out there. They know when they see that hat pull up, they in for hell. So. That shit ain't hot running around in. It actually keeps your body temperature down. Really? Yeah. So the first time I did it, obviously I did it for the hat and. I was like, I'm actually cooler, and I kept doing it, kept doing a little research on it. It actually keeps your body temperature down, and you actually stay cooler with the hat on. Wow. I'm sitting here, I, like, I watch you change into a couple hats, yeah, I got and a, I'm like... I got 50 hats, man. <laughs> I got a hat for every game. For every game, yeah. Every drive if you wanted to. Now, I, I, I'm looking out there. I seen you in the in the bunny hat to start out, and I'm like, this dude gotta be fucking nuts. Like, yeah, everybody it's, say that, too. And we see out there, you know how you know. Right, keep, keep your body chilling. temperature down. All right. And it's my patent anyway. I got to do it, even though it was hot. <laughs> I fucks with it. Yo, good luck in the championship game, appreciate bro. You, appreciate you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yo, make sure you go follow it's CJ Carver, correct? Tarver. 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 CJ Tarver. You know what I mean? The rabbit killer. He's out here balling in uh, Edgewater, New Jersey. Shout out to XFFL. Shout out to all the people that came out here to ball today, man. A lot of great games. And I'm excited. I'm anticipating this next matchup with you guys. And, I mean, you're watching whoever you're going to be playing next, so... Pretty sure you're sitting here strategizing. Yeah, yeah, they ain't got no chance. It's over. They got coming home with the shit. <laughs> I fucks with it. <laughs> what, what does the winner get for today? Uh, that's a good question. I, don't know. You don't I, know. I know before I think they said it was like two thousand, but I know a couple teams dropped out, so I don't know how much it is now. So okay, shit. If they said two thousand, y'all probably do two thousand dollars regardless. I mean, I, I mean, if the team's already paid and they dropped out, then I'm sure, yeah, but. I don't know. Oh, that's impressive, man. I'm, I'm bragging rights. I'm definitely anticipating watching the rest of this game, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm make sure I'm gonna do something special. Just so I'm gonna have my camera up too. So. Hey, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I'm talk <laughs> All right, man. Yo, make sure y'all go follow my man. Make sure you follow the podcast. Dope individuals only, man. Where only the dope shit is found. We out here, Edgewater, New Jersey. Shout out to XFFL. Shout out to all the people that made this happen. Shout out to all the athletes out here busting their ass, putting their bodies on the line. You know what I mean? Out there working for the prize. And yeah, man, keep balling, man. Shout out to all the people making this shit happen. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Peace. Peace.